Hi, this is Steve from Real Linens. Today we're going to discuss how to easily get rid of wrinkles in your bedding. Bed linens are produced in a wide variety of different textiles. We see them produced from satin, not sateen, but satin, which is a synthetic polyester fiber. We don't like that sheet uh, in any regard. The satin itself has a tendency of pilling, snagging, and it doesn't breathe very well which means it'll feel clammy and sticky next to your skin. Silk is also produced into bed linens. Now silk has got a wonderful softness. It has uh, uh, um, a drape and a hand that is unsurpassed with regard to a bed linen. Its drawbacks, however, is the expense. A good set of silk sheets may cost you upwards of $1,500 to $2,000. But it's got some drawbacks in addition to this. It does pill it does snag and it doesn't breathe well. Therefore you may also find it very very hot in the summertime. Linen is an outstanding fiber. We find linen utilized often in Europe and in southern, cli southern climates. Linen has superior wicking properties to the other uh, textiles that, that are utilized in, in sheets such as cotton etc. But linen has got a little coarseness to it that some people don't like. It, uh, in addition to that, it does um, have a tendency of wrinkling more than other fibers. A very, very popular construction in, in bed linens is a cotton poly blend. Some ratio of 20 to 40% uh, uh, cotton versus poly is utilized in the construction of these sheets. The uh, thing that people find desirable about a cotton poly sheet is the fact that it doesn't wrinkle as much as say a cotton sheet. The drawbacks however of the cotton poly uh, bed linen is the fact that it doesn't have the same hand softness or drape uh, that say a, a cotton sheet might have. In addition to that it doesn't breathe or have the same wicking properties or qualities that a cotton sheet has. Now without question the most popular textile that is utilized in the construction of sheets is 100% cotton. Cotton comes in a wide variety of different qualities and price points. We're not going to discuss those here today, but the reality is a cotton sheet feels wonderful next to the skin. It does have superior wicking properties and overall it's, it, is, it is just the, the textile of choice when looking for bed linens. The reason that people utilize cotton in their undergarments is because of those ability, because of its ability to draw moisture away from you. You feel cool in the summer and warm in the winter. But irrespective of that, the problem associated with cotton is that it does wrinkle. Now, ideally, the best way to uh, take care of the wrinkle is to iron. Now, a lot of people are not prone or interested necessarily in ironing their sheets uh, every week after they come out of the laundry. Uh, that's understandable. There are some options, however. One thing you might consider is having them uh, professionally laundered. Now, most in, in most urban settings, you will find that there are cleaning services that will launder and press your sheets. This is a wonderful way to have your bed linens cleaned and pressed. Typically for $15 to uh, $20, you can have a complete set of sheets laundered, pressed, delivered to your house and ready to put on the bed. For those that don't want to uh, take that step, we've got a couple of other tips here that you might find useful in mitigating the amount of wrinkle that you get in your bed linens. First of all, when you're laundering your bed linens, only place one set of linens in the wash machine then put those in the dryer. Now, what you don't want to do is apply too much heat to the sheet. And uh, you want to use a medium temperature as opposed to a high temperature. You don't want your bed linen sitting in the dryer after the dryer has shut off. You will only build up more wrinkles. What you really want to do is pull those sheets out just before they're totally dry. Just damp to the touch. Take those sheets then to a folding table and you can hand press all of the wrinkles out of the bed linen itself. Um, in addition, you might be able to put them right on the bed and hand press them right on the bed and you're ready to go. But 
they're not going to look as if they were pressed. So here's our little tip today that you can utilize when you make your bed or midweek when you find that your bed is starting to pick up a little wrinkle. Now what we have here is a sham and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to see the associated wrinkles uh, in, you know, in the body of this uh, particular sham. This is maybe how your bed might look uh, you know, three or four days after sleeping on it. So here's what you can do. Simply get yourself a little spray bottle of water. Now this happens to be a fragranced water. Fragrance the waters are produced by a number of different manufacturers in a variety of different scents. But uh, uh, the, the fragrance water is a nice way of adding a nice uh, fresh smell to your bed. However, this tip uh, can be utilized with just plain tap water. So what you want to do is take your pillowcase or your sham. You want to hold it by the edge and you want to apply a light misting of water. Now. That will dry out within a minute or two. You don't want to over douse it. But uh, what gets rid of the wrinkle is the water combined with tension. So what you want to do is put a little tension on it. So simply shake that sham or that pillowcase a little bit and you will find that all of your wrinkles have uh, of, uh, come off of your pillowcase. Then what you can do, and we'll set this here, is you can walk around to the other areas that are wrinkled on your bed, such as your flat sheet. Simply grab the corner of your flat sheet and again apply a little tension so you want it to be a little taut and then a couple light spritzes of water around to the other side and all your wrinkles are gone. Well, we hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for taking the time to, uh, to, uh, to watch it. Please feel free to give us a call at Vero Linens with any of your bedding related questions. Either send us an email or give us a telephone call. We're happy to answer those questions, even if it's for a product that we don't produce. Again, thank you very much for your time.